Well, blue green out. We see it here in our area, but we're on your side tonight letting you know about a potential risk in the water for your animals and you. Blue green algae can be toxic, toxic, and it forms in stagnant water, usually during hot weather like we've been having. And here's something I'm learning from this story. The toxin has already killed dogs across the country. Kaylee Tracy is on your side tonight. With more. We all know it's hot out here, but before you or your pets jump in the water to cool off, you need to know what could be lurking in that water, something that could harm you and your pets or worse. Good boy. Good girl. Melissa Martin and her wife's worlds were crushed Thursday. I love those dogs. I mean, my life revolved around them. I, feel, I call myself a stay-at-home dog mom. They brought Harpo, Abby, and Izzy to play near a pond in North Carolina. Not long after they got home, their dogs started acting strange, showing signs of liver failure. By the time I got downstairs into my car, she was in a full-on seizure. Like, her body was, like, shaped almost like a, the letter C. They rushed all three to the emergency vet, but it was too late. Within two hours, we had to make the decision to put them all down. The vet told Martin her dogs contracted blue-green algae poisoning a type of algae that you can't always see. Shannon Blankenship with the St. John's River Keeper says it can clump at the top of the water like this, but also disperses or sinks. That algae is something that both humans and pets should stay away from because of the consequences to our health. If you're exposed to the toxin, you could get nauseous, rashes, or have long-term health impacts. For animals, it could be deadly, like for Martin's dogs. As a mom and a pet owner, um, I, I do try and uh, stay up to speed on where our algae blooms are happening and, and what's going on. Um, but I think you always have to balance the importance of being able to really enjoy our, our St. John's River. Some samples in the St. John's River have tested positive for blue-green algae as recently as this summer. If you don't see it, or it may or may not be safe, um, but if you're in an area where you see algae, in any proximity or there have been recent reports, I think it's you know safe to use caution. For Martin, it's the silent killer. Don't think that you know um, just because of how it looks. Don't assume that your dog would be okay. Just stay away from this type of stuff because it, I mean, it is horrific to watch something that you love go through something like that. You can track algae blooms in your area and see whether or not they tested as toxic on the Florida Department of Health's website. We have that link right now on firstcoastnews.com. I'm Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.